since 1937, this organization has been assessing and responding to what the community needs. Um, and that was just evident over the past 18 months with the pandemic. Um, from that point, it was constantly putting themselves um, second and putting the community first. Remote learning, they became educators, they became food service distribution, they became mental health providers, they became everything. And there was never a doubt that they weren't gonna do it well. If you spent any time in or around the Waltham Boys and Girls Club, you've probably heard the phrase, whatever it takes. Whatever it takes to ensure that the kids here are supported educationally, physically, and especially emotionally. Well, I can start from when he wasn't allowed to be here. It was like when he wasn't allowed to be in school because we, we were doing the hybrid learning and then his age group wasn't allowed in the club. And it was really depressing for him because he kept saying, Mommy, I don't have any more friends. A lot of kids are coming in having been looking at a screen the past year and a half. And so they're getting back into school. So we notice a lot of like social emotional behaviors that they just don't know how to interact with other kids their age. And so we do um, a ton of different training um, for our youth specialists that we have, all of our staff involved. We've also partnered um, with Wayside as well. So we have a clinician coming in. She comes in a few times a week, kind of just observing the kids. Um, and then if anything is alarming or anything along those lines, she'll come and bring that to us. The very intentional approach to recognizing and responding to each child's need was especially important to Diane Terrio. James is um, neurodiverse, uh, so having staff that could like work with that and was you know mature enough to be able to react to that in a meaningful way was was important. And so we landed here, and it, it worked out pretty pretty well. And I think that he was just met here with a lot of understanding about like, oh, this is where you are. <laughs> let's, let's work with this. Over the last 18 months, the club has worked very closely with Waltham schools as well, strengthening that partnership and the after-school curriculum in areas like STEM. The education programming is vast, okay? There's just so many like, vehicles to learn and we are taking every single one of them because they come down the hallway and they're like are we having STEM today are we having STEM today and I just like it warms my heart like yes they're excited to be my programming but they're more excited to learn which that is the goal you want them to ask you to learn teach me more ask questions child care is the backbone of the economy right without child care parents can't work full days um, you know there's a lot of parents a lot of women have dropped out of the workforce in the past two years and like you need programs like this in order to provide support for families to take care of kids in a safe emotionally safe physically safe fun interesting you know like thoughtful curriculum as soon as I got the opportunity for him to go back and I told him, it was just like opening Christmas presents for him. And it's just, he, he loves it here. He just, he loves the friends that he's created here. He loves his staff members. And he just loves just like the whole atmosphere here. And just seeing that, I saw him coming back to life. What is so special about uh, this, um, this organization and the Waltham Boys and Girls Club is the people in it. The building, matters, um, the, the materials matter, but not nearly as much as the people that are in it. And that's, those relationships um, are what makes the impact.